Every man has an internal draw to the mountains where there is no lifeline. Hunting is something that is in my blood. It's just you and the elements, your instinct against their will to live, your determination versus their superior senses. As a western big game hunter, a trip like this is about as good as it gets. Lori and I are traveling to northern British Columbia on a three week hunt. We have tags for stone sheep, Canadian moose, mountain caribou, mountain goat, and wolf. Spending three weeks in some of the most rugged and beautiful terrain in North America with a pocket full of tags, this hunt is a dream that I've had since I was a kid. And I'm finally living it. just crossed over into the Yukon Territory first time probably won't be my last got our co-pilot over there sleeping just hitting junction 37 3 p.m. we got lots of time gonna go check out our uh, float plane airport here in a little bit thought that was my plane back there not my plane, they're not here to get me. So I'm just gonna keep walking back and forth. Got all my gear there. Got two packs just in case something happens to one of my packs. Got those water protectant bags. Got all my squirrel food in there. This trip has been in the works for almost two years now. And it's just as much about the adventure as it is the hunt. 1500 mile drive, float planes, remote camp, mountain horses, and a pocket full of tags. It doesn't get any better than that. Even though this beautiful country was very game rich, the only thing that was on my mind was stone sheep. So right out of the gate on day one, we headed up to sheep country. Being a sheep hunter was a lifelong dream of mine when I was a kid. I only hoped to get to go sheep hunting someday. A stone sheep hunt to me is the ultimate test of being a hunter. It's a long way to travel. It takes an incredible amount of planning, preparation, and discipline. It is a huge physical, mental, and financial investment to hunt stone sheep. There's no rush. We, we got him here, so I'm just going to double check his age. He's up farther now, though. I'll come up by that big gray rock. Yeah, I'm gonna go. He's gonna go down. <laughs> the big ram, Tony. Wow, that was grueling. Wait, good shift, fellas. I knew they were there. Ah, oh, shot, Jack. Good shift, fellas. Wow. Nice job. First sheet, stone sheet, British Columbia. The first sheet for me, 
hopefully it's not the last. Wasn't expecting to even see sheep on the first or second day or anything like that. We're able to slip in and uh, one shot with the 30 Nosler. Has 10 rings, so he's 10 years old. He's a nice old ram. Dark color and beautiful stone ram. Northern British Columbia. This is not just the pursuit of a single animal, but the pursuit of an experience, with the added bonus to harvest the most elusive and sought after sheep in the world. some coffee the best thing best thing out here and watching Gemma prep our breakfast that yet. sounds good well it's about one o'clock second day uh, just sitting here in camp I had a pretty hard pack out with the sheep yesterday the guides are uh, in the bunkhouse caping out the ram Lori's in the shack taking a nap I'm just sitting behind the glass seeing what we can find for the next adventure. Hoping to see a nice uh, moose or possibly mountain caribou. We're gonna load up the horses, go out for a afternoon hunt, afternoon, evening, day two. We got 16 more days of hunting, so better get started. We got a gaucho here with her horse, loading up for the day. All right, Gemma packed a nice lunch and it's going to be a good day. This being a 19 day hunt, we wanted to leave plenty of time to account for weather, missed opportunities, and proper age class selection of our quarry. Getting to spend three weeks in the remote wilderness of British Columbia, we were sure to see things and create tracks where no human has traveled before. After only a few days of hunting, I was overwhelmed with how great the hunt started out. Already a beautiful stone sheep, a black wolf, and we were only a few days into the trip with a very long way to go. While the first week had been incredible, here's a sneak peek into part two of our British Columbia hunt. Uh -huh. 